Welcome to Holt Whistle, the centre of Britain. Hello, I'm David Taylor and this is my hotel, the centre of Britain Hotel in Holt Whistle, Northumberland. And the reason why it's the centre of Britain is that it's equidistant from the furthest north to the furthest south of a line that you can draw through the country. Well, we're at the oldest part of the building now. That's actually a border peel tower. It goes back to the 1400s. Look at the thickness of the wall. It's over five feet thick. And uh, when we were renovating this building, we in fact found an intramural staircase, a staircase hidden within the thickness of the wall. It was bricked over, plastered up, and full of rubble. And now it's a feature which people can see the history of the building. Well, I've got 12 rooms in the hotel. This is um, a nice one. They're all different to one another. There's no two rooms uh, the same. Got some really nice roof structures here, really old. You can see that they're not bolted together. The timbers are pegged together. And we've tried to create this um, feeling of the old traditional styles, but with modern colors. Well, all of the rooms have got uh, ensuite bathroom. This one's particularly nice because it's got a nice sauna, nice large power shower, and also a spa bath. All of our baths are spa baths. So this is particularly attractive to people who've been walking all day, got themselves maybe a little bit cold on the Hadrian's Wall. You get yourself really warmed through in one of these saunas. Very popular. Now this is a lovely room and I think it's the nicest room in Holt Whistle. Uh, we use this for conferences and meetings, a day room for our hotel guests. This butts onto the peel tower as did the uh, ground floor part of this building. But at this point we can see the outside stonework of the peel tower, which we can actually get right up to third floor on a peel tower and see and touch and see the detail of the stonework which was erected around about 1417, something like that. Here we are in the Reavers Escape Tunnel underneath the uh, hotel. We found this at the later stages of rebuilding the hotel in 1997 and excavated as far as we dare. And there's two um, blocked up openings here. This one probably went to underground cellars. It's um, been blocked up with pretty old looking bricks and straight on here that would have gone through the underneath of the uh, what's now the hotel. And coming into the car park of the hotel now this is where the coaches and horses used to come in in the coaching in days. This used to be stables here they were a bit ramshackle when we got them so we knocked them down and built these four lovely chalets. These are really popular with guests that are here either on business and park the car right outside or walkers, people walking the Hadrian's Wall footpath or cyclists doing the national cycle trails. Got a little sitting area downstairs, bathroom with a power shower and a small sauna even. And upstairs we have a large double bed area. We're now coming into the second part of the hotel built in 1650. At that time it was like a manor house, later became the excise house, the tax uh, collector's office for the town. Then it became the posting office, uh, which became even more important when the mail coaches started in 1788. You'll have your breakfast in here. Um, Nice cosy dinners, candlelit dinners every night, um, even hire it for a private party. Here at the centre of Britain we pride ourselves in only using fresh ingredients. All of our food is freshly cooked to order. Everything is cooked in a style which is proven by its taste. One of the great things is our great British breakfast. 
many people think it's the best meal in the world, and so do I. You don't really need much lunch if you've had a breakfast here. David makes you very welcome. We're friends frequently invite we, and uh, we just can't wait to come through here because we love it so much. Well, the atmosphere is so very nice, and we're known here, and everybody really gets known here if they come more than once, and we've never had a bad meal. Oh, it's fabulous. Really lovely, you know, and the staff can't do enough for you to make sure everything's just spot on. It's really enjoyable. It's a lovely experience.